Hello, uh, my name is Abe, and uh, I'm going to be presenting here on malaria and drug resistance. Uh, so just a brief introduction to malaria. Uh, malaria is a disease that is caused by infection from plasmodium parasites, and uh, these parasites are primarily transmitted through uh, bites from Anopheles mosquitoes. And some signs and symptoms of uh, infection are consistent with the flu and maybe some other uh, illnesses, but they include uh, fever, headaches, rigors, and some GI distress. Uh, it's important to note that not everybody infected presents symptoms, and some complications include uh, hemolysis, anemia, uh, and cerebral anemia, and then some chronic conditions uh, include renal failure, uh, spleen rupture, and some liver complications. And uh, eventually, if it's left untreated, it can lead to death. Um, and uh, just also note that diagnosis is confirmed with a blood smear. And so now looking at the global burden of malaria. Uh, so when you think of malaria, you might think of, oh, you know, that's just a problem in Africa. But actually, as you can see here from this map, uh, all these orange countries are countries where uh, malaria is endemic. So uh, really, this is a global public health issue. Uh, so now prevention strategies, you can uh, control the mosquitoes with uh, uh, mosquito traps and nets and use repellents and insecticides and uh, limit stagnant water. Um, also a vaccine, uh, but we don't actually have a vaccine yet that's still in development, uh, but that's a very appealing strategy for uh, malaria prevention. Uh, and then there's drugs, and I'm going to be talking about drugs here. Uh, so here's a timeline of uh, anti-malarial drugs that have been used over the years. Uh, so some have been used as early as the 1800s, but uh, primarily the ones that are used uh, have been developed since the 1930s. Um, and uh, just it's important to note that some of these older drugs uh, are less effective uh, nowadays due to uh, drug resistance. So uh, primarily the uh, newer ones are used nowadays to treat malaria. So now just the use and misuse of these drugs. Uh, some use, uh, you can be using them as a prophylactic measure, uh, you can use malarone, uh, to prevent the uh, infection from occurring altogether. Um, you can also treat uh, infection after there's a confirmed diagnosis. And uh, some things to note are that uh, there's a fairly strict schedule with taking these drugs and uh, that the newer ones are more effective uh, than the old ones. And then for misuse, uh, like I said, some of the older ones like chloroquine are less effective nowadays. Uh, not sticking to your uh, treatment schedule and non-compliance can lead to uh, resistance. And then uh, overusing these drugs and uh, using these drugs when malaria is not uh, the culprit of uh, illness can be uh, really complicating as well. So just a quick overview of drug resistance. So going from one to three here. Uh, say starting at one if you have a drug that kills off all the blue parasites but all the red parasites actually have resistance uh, to the drug you're using uh, moving on to two uh, after using the drug you can kill off all the blue parasites but then the red ones will uh, live through that drug and then they'll continue to multiply and uh, your drug will no longer be effective for treating that condition uh, so now drug resistance uh, has been observed as early as 1957 and uh, we're seeing uh, emer uh, drug resistance emerge across the globe uh, very frequently nowadays and uh, some of the newer drugs we're even seeing um, resistance emerge uh, in areas uh, such as Asia and then uh, there is a fear that this drug resistance can spread across the globe and really complicate uh, malaria treatment across the world. And so now just the impact on community health. Uh, High-risk groups include infants, children, pregnant women, immunocompromised individuals, uh, and travelers especially, and then non-compliant patients. And uh, case management is the prompt detection, diagnosis, and treatment of uh, ill individuals, uh, but that's really complicated uh, in areas where um, they might not have the means to do such things. So some of the poor areas of the world might have issues doing that. So just to summarize, uh, malaria is a global burden. Uh, we have drugs that can treat malaria, uh, but we really need to be conscious of drug resistance.
So thank you.